recruiting, growing your sales team. This is one of the most challenging things that we all face. It's nonstop and it never really seems to get easier, but that is until right now. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you the nine best industries to recruit from so you have a higher chance of finding the right people who stick around and perform at a high level. This video is especially for owners, managers, recruiters, and team leaders who are in charge of growing the team. I'm about to share with you not only my direct experience, but the honor and privilege of serving literally thousands of sales reps all across the US, even Canada, even Australia, speaking across the US, running one-on-one -on -one trainings and running small workshops for some of the industry's top contractors. What I'll share with you is what I've learned from each and every one of them through in-depth conversations to help you recruit better people and have them stick around to grow the business. Before we do, I just wanna say a quick welcome, or welcome back. My name is Adam Benzman, The Roof Strategist, and everything I do here on my YouTube channel and my podcast, and in my program, the All-in-One Sales Training and Sales System, is designed to help you and your team smash your income goal and give every customer an amazing experience. In order to do that, we gotta have salespeople. So let's get into today's video and discuss the nine best industries to recruit from. Both. All right, now we got a clean slate. Let's rock and roll. Number one is emergency services. This includes law enforcement officers or police, as well as firefighters, both of which have incredible discipline, have faced extreme amounts of stress, and have faced very challenging interpersonal interactions. Let's just face it, law enforcement often interacts with very tense situations being screamed at, hollered at, and in physical altercations. So when it comes to door-to-door -door interactions or angry homeowners, it's really a cakewalk for them. And same with firefighters who often come with incredible discipline, high stress situations, and are simply good with people because they've been in tense situations. And in fact, I have numerous clients, excuse me, customers of ours who are growing roofing companies that were either ex-firefighters, are volunteer firefighters, or even some who are active full-time career firefighters selling roofs on the side, one of which recently reached out to me. He's already sold over a half million doing this stuff part-time following my sales system. So number one is emergency services. Number two, military. I hope this one goes without further explanation. Let's face it, our veterans, active military, are highly disciplined, have gone through incredible amounts of stress, are organized and focused, and believe in, similar to one of the other ones we'll be coming up with, delayed gratification, that they're willing to put in the work to achieve the status in the military that they strive to, to rise to that level of occasion, whether it's uh, an advanced unit, advanced training or specialties. So military personnel are phenomenal. And in almost every training I run, I ask who here is military, and there's almost always numerous hands in the room that shoot straight up in the air. All right, number three, we have students. Now, I wanna do a little disclaimer when I say students. We've got a kind of a, a little bit of an umbrella around the students. We have current students, sometimes even high school students can be great canvassers to hire. We have college students who often get started in a sales position or internship. And then we have recent college graduates who come straight out of school and they are eager to make good money. And if they're like, in my shoes, I got an undergraduate degree in psychology. That doesn't set you up for a career. So you search for other ways to apply those skills. So liberal arts schools, construction management, trades management, doesn't matter if it's bachelor degrees or associate's degrees. And then the last thing are student age. Many people elect to skip college, which I'll be truthful now, it would probably be my opinion. Why bother when you could just jump into this and start making money? So students encompasses that entire envelope of student aged young professionals, which brings us here to number four, which is athletes. Last training I ran, I had an Olympic, a former Olympic athlete in the room and a former collegiate athlete in the room. I've worked with triathletes. I've worked with football players. I've worked with track athletes, you name it. Athletes have an incredible amount of discipline. They have a clear focus of a goal. They have the ability to have that delayed gratification, meaning I'm gonna put in all this work to win or to level up, right? To compete at the next level, which is what we need because in roofing sales, we don't always make money right away. We don't see the fruits of our label, or excuse me, the fruits of our labor instantly. And that's why many people quit too soon, but athletes have this way to just stick with it and grow through that transition period because of their delayed gratification. Let's get into number five, customer service professionals. This doesn't matter whether it's car rental customer service, cell phone customer service, 
uh, retail customer service. And a little bonus tip, one of the last companies I trained, almost their entire sales team was recruited from Best Buy. They have a hyper-focused training on creating an amazing customer experience. And their Best Buy sales reps that are now in roofing sales are absolutely crushing it. By the way, this one was brand new to me. I hadn't heard anyone with this level of success, so I wanted to share that with you. So customer service professionals, again, even including local banking, folks that you engage with on the day to day. All right, number six, we have servers. And I'm gonna put servers slash bartenders. In fact, there's a member of the Pitch Pro movement who was a former bartender who is now in roofing sales. And let's just say he's making a lot, a lot more money, multi six figures. He is absolutely crushing it because he's used to dealing with people, sparking a conversation with anyone, having, especially as a bartender, maybe some uncomfortable interactions with people who drank too much. So again, they have that thick skin and the people skills to do exceptionally well. By the way, a little bit of a pro tip. Some people that I work with, I encourage to run their sales ads actually in the wrong category. You have a few different categories here, and I'll continue, that target servers saying, are you tired of serving tables and want to earn what you're worth? Or another example of a headline for an ad, uh, tired of serving tables, apply the same skills, earn six figures. Something like that that says you were a server, I can take you from this to over here. So targeting servers and bartenders, again, actively recruiting. Even when I was down at RoofCon, I went out to the steakhouse. I literally recruited our server right there and got him set up with an interview with one of my customers who happened to be in Orlando and was hiring because the guy was phenomenal. And all I simply stated was, man, your skills have been phenomenal. And I work with folks in in a unique industry. I didn't share the roofing side where you can earn six figures and even multi six figures applying the skills that you've shared with me and demonstrated with me today. If you're interested, just write your name and number on the back of the receipt and I'll take it from there. And not only did he do that, he came back to follow up for my info. So actively recruit from good people as you see them. All right, let's roll down to number seven, which is from the door to door industry. And I want you to keep your mind wide open because door to door can mean a lot. We often think of the main ones, right? Roofing, windows, solar, pest control, home security. But there's other industries that sell door to door as well. Even things like garbage services. All right. So power washing happens door to door and certain religious affiliations have door to door requirements. Anyone with that door to door canvassing experience. And I know this one's kind of a gimme as a duh, but I'll be honest, many people often overlook it. All right, industry number eight are salespeople from other industries. Again, this one's a bit of a gimme, but you gotta be careful because a lot of folks with traditional sales background are so used to someone walking in or showing up and saying, I'm here ready to buy, that if you don't have a company that's structured where you're providing them leads and appointments, they really struggle on the opening side or the canvassing side because they've never had to do it. But some industries in the sales side that I've seen do very well, Silly as it sounds, shoe sales, we have cell phone sales, auto sales, insurance sales. Um, Let's see if there's any others that jump out right at the top of my head. Those are the main categories that I've seen do really well. I've worked with some real estate professionals as well, which I would categorize in the sales background. And it really doesn't even matter what they're selling. And the last bonus tip here, one of the reps, again, inside the Pitch Pro movement, who multi six figure earner, formerly worked at a mall kiosk in the center of the mall, you know, where you hand out the samples of things, put things in people's hands. So even if you're at the mall or you're at the airport, these types of salespeople are phenomenal for you to connect with and recruit from. And this brings us to our final one, which is number nine, which is our teachers. Now, I have worked with a number of teachers. In fact, one of the companies I'm actively training, their VP of sales, and they are doing a lot of revenue, was a former teacher. You'll see in the roofing space that there's a lot of ex-teachers. They have the patience, the communication skills, the interpersonal skills. They've dealt with conflict. They've dealt with parents, which is the same thing as dealing with homeowners. So teachers are a great industry to recruit from. Now, I want to give you a bit of a bonus tip here, and here's what it is. As you recruit all of these nine categories, I want you to also open your mind up to what I call the green beans or folks from other industries. Namely, uh, two of my top sales reps that worked for us. Number one was a former Cintas truck driver and number two was a former framer. 
not in any of these categories. We had a wide envelope of people who were just looking to change their life. But the one thing that stays the same between all of these is that we must spot the five make or break profile traits. The five make or break profile traits, which will tell you right away if they're even worth a shot. And those are a hustler, thick skinned, persuasive, persistent, and confident. Those traits, by the way, I teach you how to interview and spot them in one of my programs that's inside my all-in-one sales training and sales system. That particular training is called How to Build Your Dream Team. I give you some hiring ads to run, teach you how to quickly qualify folks, how to interview them, spot the right profile tricks, spot the right profile traits, sell them on the opportunity because the top threats, by the way, are them saying, why should I sell for you and not the other roofing company? Because sales reps shop around just like homeowners do or selling them on the commission only or the heavy commission pay plan because oftentimes their significant other doesn't like that quote unquote instability. And they teach a very unique way to communicate that message so they jump on board. If you're interested in that, there's a link in the video description below. It's called the Roofing Sales Success Formula. That's my all-in-one sales training and sales system currently being used by thousands. If you have questions, you can call or text the number here on the screen, 303-222-7133. And there you have it, the nine best industries to recruit from. So you can bypass that learning curve, spot the right people, even run your ads in creative locations to pull from emergency services, military, students, athletes, customer service representatives, servers, door-to-door -door people, salespeople, and teachers. That is all for today, today's video. If I missed a category that you think should be on here, drop a comment and share it with us. That is the power of this community. Thanks for joining me on this video, and I will see you on the next one.